Oh, look at the rotation at the bottom, guys. That is magical. Weld County residents react to one of four landspout tornadoes that touched down Wednesday night. A landspout is a tornado that forms from the ground up instead of from the thunderstorm down like traditional supercell tornadoes. Landspouts like to form along boundaries between dry and moist air. So this is the boundary and it's rotating horizontally like this. Paul Schlatter with the National Weather Service says that air can start to spin horizontal to the surface along those boundaries long before storms even form. Put a storm right on top of that boundary it sucks in the boundary and makes it vertical, and now you've got a rotating vertical column of air, which is a tornado. Even then, land spouts usually remain invisible unless they run into some dirt. It's usually only the dust that reveals the vortex of a land spout tornado, and there was plenty of that between Eaton and Greeley on Wednesday. Here's how that boundary formed. Moist air was moving up from the south across the eastern plains, while very strong and very dry winds were blowing over the mountains. That created a sharp boundary between two air masses. The horizontally spinning air was there, but there were no storms until a cold front came sweeping in from the northwest. Once those storms formed, the horizontal boundary stretched into vertical tornadoes. Might be crossing the highway, actually. Land spouts are very weak tornadoes, usually with just 60 to 90 mile per hour winds, and they're very short-lived, usually lasting less than 10 minutes, and they are usually completely invisible to radar. Sometimes even as the trails are ongoing, it has a hard time of detecting the rotation because there's no precipitation around it, and it's just dust, really. It's just a small little dust whirl to the radar. So, yeah, getting tornado warnings is very challenging uh, with these types of landspout tornadoes. Meteorologist Corey Reppenhagen, 9 News. There were no tornado warnings issues yesterday, but the National Weather Service did issue a special weather statement informing the public about the land spout activity. There was some minor damage reported, and they're going to send out crews to examine that, but it is expected that all four tornadoes will be rated as EF0.